the miner. He used to take the boy for walks along rutted lanes, aside thick grassed fields, on baked mud tracks dappled with life and colour, yet close to the grey man-made towers and black hills, where, in his daily work, he would ride the cage into the darkest hell. Birds identified by their song and shape, he knew the ground on which we walked and below which he toiled. He smiles, in his head the words and music of Handel, his hands holding the boy, skilled on the trombone, tending the plants in the greenhouse, conducting the choir, working the coal. In giving lives and bodies to the cause, the nation's energy was safe in the miners' hands, yet they were so much more. Fathers, brothers, sons, grandads, poets, singers, artists, craftsmen, hands and hearts held in perfect time.